Hey YouTube, Untamed here. So we just pulled over at a Chrysler dealership. It looks like Fr Prince Frederick out here. Chrysler Dodge, Jeep and Ram. This is out toward uh, Chesapeake Beach area. Anyways, I spotted a couple Ram TRXs here. We got this silver one here. Then you can see the white one over there. We'll look at both of them real quick. And most importantly, I'm excited to share the absurd window sticker on these. It's not window sticker, ADM rather, so additional dealer markup. You guys might get a kick out of it. So this is that Gloria 702 horsepower supercharged V8 and it is amazing me, but at the same time they're not flying off the shelves. So I remember when I was looking at one of these, it wasn't that long ago, it was when I was looking at my Land Cruiser I was poking around for these. You can find these at MSRP pretty easily, at least just, you know, a few months ago, and, and I'd imagine that's still the case, especially if they got 22s coming out here in a second. So you should absolutely, absolutely never pay an ADM on a TRX. Um, you should hopefully try to shoot for maybe getting a little bit off. Granted, that, that might be difficult nowadays, but never pay a dealer markup. It's just sheer greed. You guys know that, and I'll stop me out about it. But anyways... This one here is $115,000, just under that. So they put a $20,000 ADM on, <laughs> on the thing. So, gosh, I don't know how some dealerships kind of live with themselves with that kind of stuff without just feeling pretty slimy. So do not pay this. Don't be a fool. You know the gig. But it is a sweet truck, so I am going to share with you. ADM aside, this amazing rig here. So you got some Wrangler Goodyears here. Um, we'll see the size, 325, 65, 18s. Pretty aggressive setup. Let's see if I can show you the suspension at all. I can kind of see a little bit there. I do like the two-tone, you know, where they have the black on the bottom. I think that looks pretty cool. The, as for the Ram bar, I'm not a huge fan of that. Let me know what you guys think of that part. I do love the Anvil Gray. This is not Anvil Gray. Anvil Gray is on the, um, the launch edition version of it, and I thought that one was pretty sweet. So the quote-unquote first edition is kind of like a dark gray, kind of like Leadfoot Gray on the Raptor. It's similar to that, but I think a little bit darker. I'll show you the... You can kind of just get a good idea just how wide they are, though, right? Like, that is pretty freaking sweet. Non-functional little faux vent thing here. It's kind of kind of silly, but whatever. I would do without any kind of rear decals if I were to ever get one of these. It's a Ram bar. The bed liner, and of course the spare tire mount there in the center. Look how wide that is. That is pretty sweet. As far as presence goes, I do think this looks better than Gen 2 Raptor. And I don't know. I'd have to see it side by side to get a good feel in person, this compared to the Gen 3s. I love the headlights, but it just really is pretty close, pretty similar to the Ram Rebel. Right? The, the, the typical or the standard Ram 1500 Rebel. It's just too similar looking. This hood is amazing. Obviously a functional intake there to feed the supercharger, feed the engine. I'll go show you the window sticker here though. But it is a sweet rig. Look at that. Just love how wide the fenders are. Okay, let's see if I can actually show it to you. It's on the tinted glass back here. All right, so there's your ADM, 115, just under 115,000, and MSRP on it is right here, so $20,000 markup, and that might be wishful thinking right here. Let's go look at the white one. I think this one looks better between the two. 
the white on black just looks fantastic, especially with that two-tone there. But again, over here we are sporting just an ADM tag that says 111,000. So there you have it. You get the $20,000 bed cover. It is a sleek looking rig. Show you the Bilstein suspension here. I think it has something called jump detection. As soon as you're about ready to actually take air, get airborne, the suspension shocks, everything tightens up and prepares itself for, for the landing, for the softest possible landing, which is pretty cool. If you're really having an identity crisis, you can swoop yourself up a cheap gladiator, like everybody else. But yeah, I don't know. I mean, at least it's kind of subtle. I think the ones on a Raptor were, were a little bit too extreme, just a little bit too much, too much in my opinion. But this, I don't know, this is definitely doable, but I would lean toward getting rid of that. But you, know, you get that s steep price tag just because of what's underneath the hood predominantly. You got amazing tech, of course, on the inside, a little laggy, a little slow, um, but and, and, you know, a, lot of, a lot of gloss black, piano black within the center stack there to make it, you know, you show every single fingerprint. So you got small things to gripe about, but big picture, you're paying for what's underneath this hood here, and that's this glorious 6.2 liter V8, supercharged V8. Actually, don't mind that hood graphic though. I think that's okay. I think it's pretty cool. You know, as for the Raptor R, it's going to be you know, equally fast, or maybe even just a little bit faster. There's reports of it being 750 horsepower, but we'll see about that. Um, but with that, I think it's going to be a little bit, a little bit more exclusive by the sounds of it. We'll see. Time will tell. But I think it just might be a little bit more difficult to get your hands on that. And if you don't. If you're not besties for the rest of with the Ford family, you may not you may not get your hands on one, at least so quickly anyway. So this is definitely much more doable. Like I said, you can pick them up at MSRP if you actually try and use that little thing called Google uh, and make a few phone calls. You'll get one at MSRP. Alright team, well I will wrap up the video there. Let me know what you think of the TRX. Do you like it better than the Raptor? And would you pick this over the Gen 3 Raptor, non-Raptor R? Would you take this over that? I mean, this is gonna be a lot more expensive still. You're looking at, you know, anywhere from 85 to 90-ish, right? Um, a little bit more. Whereas with that Raptor, you can spend, anywhere, what, I think as low as 70 technically, right? For kind of a, a non-spec'd out, optioned out one. But typically right around that 79, 80,000 mark now for the Gen 3 if you're going to actually load it out. So tell me which one you would pick and why. But at any rate, appreciate you guys watching as always. Till next time.